Chin Fan and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a clutch adjustment on the Eaton Fuller Chin uh, clutch assembly. Hey Ben, can you um, press on the clutch? If you come up here, you can see. Right now I'm trying to adjust, uh, turn this screw to adjust the, the clearance between the release bearing and the clutch brake itself. All right, release. This bar right here, this is a half inch. This is supposed to be the correct clearance. And you can just slide that in. You should feel a slight tug between the release bearing and the clutch brake, which is doing right now. So we're good. And on the other end, we're gonna be measuring the clearance between the release the forks and uh, the release bearing, which should be at 1 8 with a slight tug. That's off a little bit, so. Hey Ben, can you press the clutch? All right, release. All right. And that looks good now. And that finishes up the adjustment down here. Next, we're going to the cab and we're just the uh, uh, free pedal and uh, the tra uh, pedal travel. Up in the cab, we're gonna be checking for the pedal free play. By doing that, we're going to use uh, the tape measure to get a reference point off of the steering wheel. Alright. From the resting position, the pedal is at, say, 22 inches. And now we're going to depress the pedal until we see a little bit of force when the forks hit the release barrier which is there and it looks like it traveled about two inches so that would probably need adjustment next we're going to move over to the clutch brake squeeze. Can you put the feeler gauge in? To check that, you have to place a feeler gauge between the, um, the clutch brake and the release bearing and apply down the clutch all the way. Is it in? Yeah. That would squeeze down the feeler gauge and keep. With that, you measure the pedal fully down. Let's say that's about 32 inches at the moment. We will release it slowly until the feeler gauge drops. It's off? Yeah. And that looks like it was about half inch to three-fourth. So that adjustment is good.